This is a trick for multiplying any two numbers for a person who is uh, good at adding, but maybe not so good at multiplying or dividing by anything bigger than two. So here we go, here's the first example. Uh, starting with eight times seven. Now what you'll do to find the answer is you're gonna make two columns of numbers. Uh, the first column is coming from the first number, or you'll just keep dividing by two leaving out the remainder until you get down to one. Right? Each number goes down by half. And in the second column, you're going to do the opposite and go up by double. So 7 plus 7, 14 plus 14, 28 plus 28. And from these, you'll strike out any row that has an even number in it. So for this example, there isn't anything to add because there's only one number left. 8 times 7 is 56. Um, going with another example, 12 times 11. Now these are two examples that I know um, kids sometimes have problems with when they're trying to multiply. So I'll just show you how it works. So doing the same, divide by 2 leaving out the remainder until we get down to 1. And then 11 plus 11 is 22. 22 plus 22 is 44. 44 plus 44 is 88. And strike out any even numbered rows. This has two numbers to add. Add up to 132. And we get 12 times 11. So the last example, go bigger. Right. And it works for numbers as big as you want to try it. Uh, you can check it out in the calculator to see if you're doing it right. One last time, we'll go down the row, divide by 2, 9, 4, 2, 1, and double this row, adding the number to itself every time. Uh, ignore the rows that start with an even number and add up the rest. This one has three numbers. You get five, three, two, one. 1,235. So that's it. It's a, it looks like a trick, but it's just a different way of doing it.